Every time it feels like technology creates two steps forward, a bad actor results in one step back. With the advent of AI in 2023 and even late 2022, there were bouquets and brickbats thrown at generative AI and its potential and risks. But it seems like the dark belly of the internet continued to sustain. While deep fakes had existed before, they may have been blurry and unconvincing. But there's a new breed of deep fakes that seem to look like and more human-like than before. Indian performer Rashmika Mandana was one of them who was a victim of deep fakes in 2023. And there's another disturbing trend emerging. AI-driven apps and websites that could undress people in photos without their consent. This is an unsettling phenomenon called nudifying. With the help of AI, realistic nude images could be unfortunately created. This would be done by manipulating existing pictures and videos of real people. These pictures and videos may be sourced from social media without a person's knowledge or consent, and women may be disproportionate victims of this trend. Graphica is a social media analytics firm. According to Graphica, just in September 2023, about 24 million folks were said to have visited such applications. These platforms were said to have experienced a 2,400% increase in ad links on social media platforms in 2023. Even sadder, there are said to be services charging a monthly fee for the service. So, there's a potential for harm, including harassment, SE extortion, and the creation of child SEXUAL abuse material. And it's now heightened by the accessibility of AI tools and the ease with which they can be deployed against unsuspecting victims. What could be done about this? These undressing apps are said to be infiltrating popular social networks. Social media platforms may try to have some mechanisms to combat this. TikTok and Meta are said to have blocked keywords associated with these apps and websites to mitigate dissemination on their platforms. But the efficacy is another debate altogether. How can the dark side of tech innovation be addressed? 